Hey folks, today what I want to do is show you how to create an overlay for your Zoom recording interviews. So here's the idea. You're recording an interview over Zoom and you've got a couple of faces side by side. Great, fantastic. But it's all black around, right? So I'll show you what I mean. You see here, here's a video recording and lo and behold, okay, I've got two videos side by side, but that doesn't look too awesome, right? I don't want to just export a video that looks like this. So I want to create an overlay in Photoshop, a graphic that I can just stick right over this and it makes it look cool, all right? So let me show you how we're gonna do this. First thing, I'm gonna take a screen capture of this slide right here. You do that with Control-Alt-Print-Screen if you're on a PC. And then I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And then I'm gonna come over here to Photoshop. And uh, I already have something prepared, but I don't have to have something prepared. I can just go ahead and do Create New, and we'll just go off of the clipboard, Create, and then hit Paste, and lo and behold, it's there. Okay, great. What are we gonna do now? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to create a new layer over this, just a solid color layer. I'll get myself out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. You don't need to see me. So I wanna create a new layer. So I'm gonna come on over here and create solid layer. All right, so now we have a solid layer over it and you can choose whatever color you want. I'll just go ahead and stick with this teal for now and hit okay. And now, you know, if you make that layer invisible, then all right, you can see that. Well, all right, now what we need to do is figure out um, where we are going to basically put some windows in this layer so that uh, we can see on the other side. So what I'll do is I've got the rulers showing here. Now, by the way, if you don't have the rulers showing in your Photoshop, all you have to do is go up to view and rulers okay now the nice thing about rulers is what we can do is then click over here in the ruler drag and we can drop a line where we want it so that's our center line there and then i'll go ahead and drop another line right about here all right and then another one and i'm just going to put all these lines basically where i want to put a window so here i'll bring it in like maybe you know, half there, and then I'll try to match that as well as I can over on this other side. All right, we'll do that. Now, I don't want, I, I want a little bit of a border in between these two pictures. So I'm going to kind of like split the difference on what we see over here. And let's just run with that for the time being. Okay, great. So this is where I want to stick my two windows. So what I can do is I can come over here, go ahead and select this layer, select this selection tool here, go ahead and do this. And then I wanna make sure I have the actual, you know, white section here selected, not just the layer, but this actual selection here. And then I hit delete and boom, it is now transparent there. And then I can go ahead and just slide that right on over and make sure this is selected. We are, so boom, hit delete, and we are good. So what we have basically created is an overlay that matches where the video is, okay? Now what I can do is if I, I gotta make sure I deselect the um, image of the, um, zoom meeting. There we go. Deselect that. And then I come up here and I go to export, quick export as PNG. And I'll just go ahead and put this on my desktop for now, border. And boom, I now have on my desktop, this border right here. Go ahead and pull that on over there. And then what'll happen is when I lay out my Zoom meeting, I can use that overlay where I have both the video showing at once. And so I'm gonna go over and do that in another video right now. We'll go ahead and ah, we'll link it right there. 
We'll link it in the description and you can see the second part on how to do this. All right, we'll talk to you later.